welcome back again to some Stalker Misery action. I'm Damien from Game Innovator, and we're going to be uh, continuing on our adventure. So just did a couple of things beforehand off camera, just basically some inventory management, uh, upgraded the sniper rifle, which we'll be using at a uh, slightly later point. But yeah, for the time being, yeah, we're going to investigate the uh, groovy mystery at the crawling tower, so unusual activity. Then I suppose we'll pop onto the ash heap anomaly to get this stuff and maybe blast whatever we can find in uh, Kopachi on the way back to the scientist bunker before returning back again. Uh, so that's the current plan, which might actually be followed. We'll just uh, have to wait and see what happens. So, without further ado, let us sally forth. So yes, yeah, been a uh, pretty long time since I've actually started, but uh, yeah, finally do have the sniper rifle out. And uh, I believe I used it a little bit in the previous video, so check out the previous couple of videos to see the sniper character that I'm playing as actually using a sniper rifle. <laughs> oh, madness, isn't it? After only playing for the game like halfway through, probably. That's what the hell, I suppose the assault rifle has done pretty well so far. But yeah, there's a couple of instances where the sniper rifle would come in handy as well. <coughs> Man, sorry about that. So yeah, where it would uh, come in handy as well, so... Yeah, probably going to be... Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, probably a crooked real estate developer. That's what I'm guessing. It's probably what's ca causing our transmission there, but anyway, let's just keep on going. And we'll get this thing out. Apparently we need this thing to analyse... So oh, okay. I see. Now, oh, that was somewhat unexpected, but anyway, I suppose that's that. Man, those crooked real estate developers, they just seem to go further and... oh, damn it. They seem to go further and further each time, trying to uh, gain, I don't know, lower land prices or something to buy, or I don't know. Because clearly this is otherwise going to be prime real estate. <laughs> yeah, looking at how big it is, I wonder... What can I actually explore around here? Maybe I can go into the building. Well, in any case, let's have a look at these bodies first, hopefully without dropping again. So, oh, okay, I actually do have a couple of uh, guns on them, very nice. Okay, do you mind if I do? Okay... No shotties on any of them? Nope. Kind of sucks because I wouldn't mind getting a better shot in than what I've got now. But I suppose I suppose all they've got actually looks pretty fancy. So oh okay, and we've got a couple of them there. No weapons there, but you have plenty of them here. We'll just hover over and okay, and we'll just get this one. There we go. Those real estate developers definitely do go to some pretty great lengths, to say the least. But there you go, we finally uncovered the mystery of what was happening here by looks of things. And... Okay... Uh, let's see... Oh no, whoops, mission log. Give the GD's founder PDA to interested parties. Okay... You'd think that... Okay, I think I'll just give them to the scientists then, in that case. Screw it. Since I think they're the ones who wanted me to investigate this area in the first place. 
And there you go, it actually does give a bit of backstory as to what happened, or rather how uh, Judy got started up in the first place. So a whole bunch of military guys getting cut off from uh, HQ, and uh, there you go, just forming up their own little gang. Who to think? Alright, well, let's get the flashlight out. Actually, given how close we are, I suppose we could just walk there now, actually. How much am I carrying? Yeah, I'm carrying a decent amount, actually. I think I might want to walk back. So, what the hell is this thing? AK, Modern, AUK, Nikonov, another Nikonov, Nikonov's AKS, SKS 45 Modern, all very nice. Okay, I think that is actually meant to count as a sniper rifle of some description. To bet I already got one, and an AKS 74 u in full condition, I'll be damned. Which is like a carbine because it's got low uh, proficiency in it. Interesting. Yeah, that's well. Touch that, touch that. So we can start off separately. Oh, I got ammo from that apparently. That as well. Touch that. Okay, perfecto mundo. Oh, okay, for that. Oh, okay, and we've got some guns here as well. So, crap loads of goodies, unfortunately, no shotties or anything like that. Still, I suppose it's a good free source of uh, small arms. A couple of them in full condition, actually. Yeah, too bad you need to get the bloody Svarog detector to do this. Or at least that's, that's what they said anyway in the um, mission description. You need to get a special detector for that, so... Yeah, there you have it. Interesting how some of this stuff is actually in full condition, god forbid. I think it's one of the changes in the uh, patches, actually. Or in the, in the latest patch, I say. Not in the patches, as it were, just in the latest one. So, yeah, given the fact that I'm getting exhausted incredibly quickly, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to want to just go back, actually. So, oh, that's right, I'll take a bit of full damage as well, because of the amount of crap I'm carrying. Still, though, yeah, we should have enough time to get back and, uh, well, just get the artifacts from the Ashley Anomaly, kill zombies on Kapachi, sounds good to me. So just, <laughs> god damn it, hurry up. Yeah, actually, given how close I am, yeah, I don't think I'll use uh, any special stuff to make myself go any faster either. Radiation is a bit annoying, but yeah, I don't seem to be suffering too much from it, so should be just fine and dandy. <coughs> just gonna get exhausted every few meters. Well, I suppose I could give that PDA to Judy, but I think the scientists... Well, that'd be a nice and partial party. I might get bonus brownie points to them, maybe they'll give me more perks. You never know, you never know. Speaking of which, getting some other terrible jaggeds, or jaggies, off of that middle as well, actually. I thought that I was meant to have anti-aliasing enabled. Not really sure what the hell's happening there. Yeah, don't know. Oh well, whatever, let's keep on going. Enjoy the jaggies. <laughs> Jaggy waggies. Come on, just a few more goddamn steps. Yeah, well, at least we should be able to sell off a decent amount. Eventually. There we go, while we're young. And get in here. And what do you know? This Salesman I need is right here. Move it, Yeah, shut the hell up. There we go. Health for Shortus indeed. And no, I won't trade it to him. Screw him. Alright, so keep the ammunition for the time being just in case. Got a de some defensive hand grenades. Huh. Oh, moisture field, of course. Okay, we'll trade this in. Oh, right, the Vogue grenade launcher. Now, but I don't think we need that. I think we've already got one anyway. Got that. PBS. PBS 2. 7 7.62. 7 7.62. I think that's a sniper rifle, but it's got a permanent silencer on it anyway, and I'm pretty sure I've already got something for, the, for this stuff as well, for the 5.45s. This one's 5.56. Yeah, fuck, we'll sell that too. Okay, and 
It's probably got plenty of pistol ammo to keep it just in case though. If when I actually do decide to use a pistol. God knows when. Yeah, there we go. Sell off the other stuff. Sounds good to me. Okay. Yeah, that was a pretty decent haul actually. Oh, okay, I guess I'll sell that too. <coughs> those are. <coughs> Sorry, those uh, duty f faction patches. Victor Mando. How much do these things weigh? Actually, it's not too bad. We'll keep them around. Okay. Perfect. What the hell is this? Oh, 5.45. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything else. <coughs> so just those duty uh, faction Just patches as well. Yeah, it's got on duty. And yeah, that's apparently I've earned another perk as well, or a, a, an award or whatever you call it, so let's just have a look. What does that give me? Hmm. More rare and expensive goods, eh? That sounds pretty good. So I probably have to get more than two hundred thousand to get that. No, okay. Huh, oh there you go. Interesting. I wonder do I have to reload the game or go to sleep or wait a certain amount of time for their inventories to refresh? Let's have a look. At their inventory. Oh this guy, now pretty fucking usual. Alright, well whatever. Let's uh, Sell the rest of the crap to Hawaii in that case. What duty guys are coming, I believe. I believe they're duty. Yeah, they're actually, yeah, they are duty. Little bits of red on them and all that, and so I don't think I can talk to them and eat either. Nope, they're completely silent. <laughs> Give them the cold short shoulder, eh? Well, anyway, that's duty for you, eh? Oh, okay. I'll tell you straight. Yeah, I'm sure it will. You'll probably just take it. Yeah, that's well, it's good to know. Let's just sell this other crap to it. So, bam, 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 bam. Actually, should I hold on to some of this? Huh. Well, yeah, it's damage isn't that great. Oh, fuck it. We'll hold on to the handguns for the time being. Yeah, god. Alright, so that. Since I will want something eventually. Some sort of sidearm, preferably a light one. Colt. Can't remember which ones I've actually got though. I guess I'll hold on to that too for the time being, because I can't be bothered sorting them out just yet. That, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got one of these things. I fought 12, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got that. Although this one's camouflage though. <sighs> Damn it, I'll hold on to that, I suppose. Yeah, this one I'll definitely sell though. Perfect Amando. So, that yeah, couldn't be worse. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna stash a bit and hopefully continue onwards to victory. Still, I wonder if the scientists will actually uh, accept that PDA or not. That'd be the most uh, imp impartial part, it most likely, to uh, get the stuff to. Well, we'll see on the way back, I guess. So, just put this in. There's a way you can just select all, but oh well. This, whatever the hell that is, another gun. That. And I don't really need two of those med kits. There we go. Perfect amando. F1 grenade, oh, that's right, a defensive hand grenade. And everything else should be good to go. Alright. Well, let's set off once again, I guess. <laughs> and everything's reloaded, perfect. And we're going the wrong way as well. Oh, fuck me. Okay, I probably want to. No, you little shit. God, I swear to God, if they're going to fucking shoot me as well. God. Okay, well. Huh, now I'm kind of afraid to go out that way. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it. 
afraid they'll shoot me as soon as I pop my head out. Although, wait a minute, let's snow that right there actually. You know what, fuck it, let's just save just in case. And what the hell, actually, let's see if we can surprise them. Damn it, I, did they just... Oh, okay, maybe the flashlight might have alerted them. Whoops. Well, uh, hopefully now we should be good to go. Perfect. <laughs> oh, God, God, I love it. Yeah, that's well. I'm pretty sure they were duty, weren't they? Yep, looks like they were duty. <laughs> oh god, that was good. Alright, well. Another Nikonov. Man, people really don't like carrying shotties around for some reason. And one, two, where was the third one? Uh, is this it? Ah, oh, yes. Oh, alright. Now there we go. Hopefully it's not going to glitch anyone out at Yarn of itself. Not from what I can tell anyway. Alright, well, what do we have? So, Nikonov, AKS. Actually, is that one? Yeah, Nikonov, yep. AKS, just a new attach. What kind of gun is this anyway? TT33. Iconic Soviet firearm, yeah, fuck it. So, got that. The hell's this thing? Explosive, improvised explosive device. Proximity, eh? Actually, what the hell? I might hold on to that just in case. And the Makarov as well, which we don't really need. I think I've already got a better version of that anyway, so a couple of rounds as well. And a spare grenade. Alright, well, let's. Sell stuff once again, that was uh, kind of unexpected, Watch but there you go. Worked out pretty nicely. <clears throat> uh, of course. Yeah, that's actually what the hell is this? Hunter's kit, plus 7%. Okay, actually, I think I'll hold on to that. Yeah, what else do we have? So, can't sell that, we can sell that. Hold on to that, keep that. That. Hold on to the dog food, or the dog chops, should I say. Oh no, no, it's actually even better. Blood sucker goulash. Ah, not too shabby. Yeah, let's hold on to that most definitely. It does look like uh, dog chops, though. Yeah, well, that. Okay, and there we go. Well, making a bit of money, I suppose. And since it's only a few metres away from Yanov, well, why not? Of course it's 1am already, so I don't know how much time I have left to do the other stuff, but uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just train. So that's... what the... oh, whoops, okay. What the fu... okay, hang on. Yeah, it's interesting, it just teleports it. Yeah, look at that, it just... Okay, that doesn't make any sense at all. But anyway, there we go, now it seems to be working. Yeah, that's so that. Okay, and that as well. Well, yeah, better than nothing. That's like a goulash, should definitely come in handy. I think I really even need to use anti reds after the, after that. But anyway, let's just stash this stuff away first. The hell? Oh, okay. Doesn't really count then. Oh, okay, I didn't even realise I had that. Oh, okay, I'll stash that as well. Don't really need two of those. Or that. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> and hopefully uh, one last time to the freaking trader before I actually get going. Indeed. What's up, bro? 
Because that's I'm sure that's exactly how they'd be saying it in Russian. Yeah, but anyway. Train Take to bear. Actually, how much will they be willing to pay for this thing? Nah. Fucking prototype and only ten thousand rubles, for God's sake. And that will sell this shitty detector instead. And that is that. Alright, well here we go once again. Through yeah, this way. Out. Okay. Well, hopefully we won't get sidetracked anymore. Or if we get, do get sidetracked, hopefully we'll get more uh, valuable stuff. Like a decent shoddy. Because, yeah, I did actually notice I stashed away that uh, spaz something or other spazzy shotgun. Only problem, of course, is that it's a uh, worn variant, which is basically going to mean it's going to be shitty compared to, say, a regular or a modern variant, which, yeah. So variants it's kind of annoying, actually, to be honest. There's so many of them, but really, there's only one that you want. Actually, maybe two. So, customized or uh, modern, basically. The other variants pretty much suck balls, but oh well. Well, let's have a look around this place, shall we? So, actually, what is the... Okay, we do have a bit of time. Should be plenty of time, hopefully. Let's just have a look down here, I guess. Okay, it's just texturing there. Damn it, nothing obvious in the corners. Actually, uh, this light doesn't seem to penetrate down, so there's probably nothing under these grates, actually. Unlike the ventilation complex. Well, whatever, I'll keep on going. Damn it, why can't they write things in English? Or in Serbian. And there's a robust language, but anyway. Yeah, let's see, nice little climb up there, and probably no way into these goddamn buildings. Damn it. Operator? Operator? No! Can't call operator. Ah, uh, uh, well. I suppose probably that doesn't help the fact that that thing doesn't even have like a little receiver thing on it, but uh, well. Uh, what else do we have? Actually, what about this stuff? Can I pick this up? Nope, apparently not. God. I don't see any any actual uh, transparent windows up there either, so... Those windows are essentially window dressing, as it were. <laughs> oh dear me. Actually, wait a minute, let's just look at these corners. Nope, no stashes here either. Damn it. Nothing under the bench. Man, it's probably not much... Yeah, it's probably not much to this area. Yeah, not much at all, except for... That uh, spatial anom anomaly. Hmm. And actually, wait a minute, there's probably going to be something in here. Or maybe not. Damn it, let me up, bastard. Oh, fucking exhausted. Come on. Come on, here we go. Okay, nothing up there. And nothing in there. Alright, well, so much for that. Well, I guess we can go upstairs and have a look at the rest of the place, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be too much at all, really. Which kind of sucks, really. I mean, look at these calling towers and all that. What more exciting structure can you think of to put various uh, bric-a-brac in and alien, uh, not aliens, uh, mutants and such? Oh, well, what can you do? Oh, wait a minute, there might be more to this area, actually. Let's see. Little backyard area. Fence has definitely seen some better days. Don't think there's really anything up there, but I guess we'll have a look just to make sure because I'm probably not going to be visiting this ever again. Especially since there doesn't seem to be much to it. So let's just have a look. Yeah, I mean, come on, calling towers. We should put something up here for God's sake. Maybe like a. I don't know, a ice anomaly or something, because it's meant to be like calling stuff down, so... Yes, ice anomaly makes perfect sense. <laughs> About as much as the thermal anomalies, in fact. Oh dear me. Nothing really down there. And nothing but a freaking barrel up here. Why is that just fucking dandy? Yeah, well, at least I had a look, I suppose. 
can't see anything off in the distance either. I thought I saw something moving. Apparently not. And can I jump down? Yes, I can, and without taking damage either. My god. Oh, huh. well, this area... <laughs> yeah, I thought that quest was actually going to be a little bit more uh, involved. I mean, after having to go to the trouble of getting that freaking Swarog detector, and there you go. Basically, just pops up there normally right in front of me. So I'm assuming, yeah, it is some sort of a spatial anomaly. Yeah, let's see, anything up here? Come on, give me an openable door for fuck's sake. Ah, you bitch got material. Well, give me something, at least some point of going up here, besides getting a good vantage point, I guess. Good vantage point of uh, not much, it seems, but a vantage point nonetheless. Okay, nothing here. Alright, well. Last chance. What is going to be up here? Probably nothing. Yeah, it looks like nothing so far. Oh, wait a minute, got some sort of radio up there. So, probably get some batteries, even though they'll probably be spent, knowing my luck. <laughs> and not much else, it seems. We're getting stutter, I suppose that counts as a feature. <laughs> can I get up here? I saw, actually, I can, there we go. And, yeah, fuck it. So, are yeah, these. Oh, they actually do have a bit of charge in them, my god. Well, I'll use them, I guess. Okay, I don't recall there being an animation like that before, before, although it doesn't really count as an animation, but whatever. Well, a bit of charge is better than nothing. And we've already visited the tunnel before for a different mission. I'm pretty sure I've explored that thoroughly. Actually, there wasn't really much to uh, actually explore there. It was just basically a linear section. Any quick way down from here? Oh, actually... Ah, damn it. Well, there was a quick way, it just didn't... Uh, Looks like my character didn't really like that too much. Oh well. There we go, that's a bit better. And yeah, we should have enough time to get to the Ash Anomaly as well. <coughs> Actually, wait a minute. Hold the phone. Oh. Never mind, I thought that was more than just freak. Yeah, I thought that was more than just. Uh, Freaking vegetation, apparently not. Oh well. Anyway, that's funny, let's, let's just continue onwards. So, we managed to get some batteries. Better than nothing, I guess, but still. I bet you there must be probably some stashes I missed there, but oh well. What can you do? So, tunnels there, the ash heap anomaly should be around. Yeah. And then it'll blast some zombies on the way back. That sounds pretty good. Really? You're getting hungry already? you to be shitting me. Got fucking liberty. Oh well. Thankfully, health regeneration has been a little bit tweaked in uh, latest patch as well, so it should be a little bit fairer, thank god. Still though, I didn't think I'd get hungry that goddamn fast. I mean, had fat bacon, dog chops, boar chops, I mean, really. Pretty sure that was meant to be enough before. But oh well, what can you do? Not getting attacked by any mutants either just yet. Yeah, well, let's just get our asses up here then. God, the stuttering. Come on, come on. The hell? Sounds like electrical anomalies. Pretty sure it's meant to be thermal, though. Okay, definitely sounds like electrical. Oh, that's bizarre. Where the hell am I supposed to be going anyway? Oh, it's actually this way. Although, what if I just go this way? Let's just have a quick look. Oh, okay, we actually got some sort of little Tesla coil in the background there. Some, some sort of tower anyway. How far can I actually go? Oh, actually it just leads back. That just leads to the uh, calling stations again. Huh, interesting. Oh, no, I think that's actually the underground electrical anomalies, of course. Oh. And a predator drone as well from the good old US of A. Looks like they made their uh, donation to the country as well. Ah, okay, well, let's uh, investigate this baby since I don't think I saw it before actually. Maybe this is linked to a quest. Maybe the search aircraft, eh? Can we do anything else? No, I don't think we can, and there's no 
US servicemen around here either to help out either. Well, isn't that a shame? And so let's search the scene. Memory module, eh? Unblock the memory module. Interesting. Hmm. Well, maybe this is going to shed some light on uh, Americans helping out the Svobodan party, eh? Ha ha ha. Oh, God. Political commentary is always so fun. Despite the fact that this game was actually made quite a bit before the current uh, Ukraine crisis. But anyway. Oh, there we go. We got a nice little mission there. Okay. So we. Uh, okay. Unblock the memory module. So probably someone at Yanov can help with that, most likely. Just have a look, actually. Yeah, it's not really apparent to the minimap that there even is anything here, actually. Well, there we go. A bit of exploration actually did pay off, after all. My god, man. Who to think? Exploration paying off in this game. <coughs> paying off big time. Well, for the time being, anyway, in this game. Yeah, that's well, let's have a look at... The anomaly now. Probably should save as well, actually, just before I uh, enter it. Okay, and yep, yeah, we got a few of them. Okay, I think I'll save before I get into that. Artifacts flying around all over the place. Okay, this is going to be a bit tricky. Okay, there's one. There's the other. Okay, and there's that one. Perfect. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Didn't even crack the suit or anything. Probably going to want to deposit them as quickly as possible, though. <coughs> and of course, play that god awful animation over and over and over again. Actually, it's not even animation; it's just the sound, really. Yeah, well, yeah, right, well, do it one by one, I suppose. <coughs> yeah, there we go. Man, thank God for that Swarov detector. Would have been a massive pain in the ass otherwise. Yeah, right, and. Let's get back to this. So, what do we have? Mama's beads, 242% versus thermal. That's not too shabby. 290 though, and 187. And, yeah, it doesn't give any equivalence to um, Kevlar sheets in terms of protection either, actually. Yeah, that's what else do we have? Crystal, which is basically a shittier version. No problem, mate. Yeah, it's well. That just leaves the good old zombies then. If there are going to be any. Oh, actually, it would have been perfect to bring the, bring the sniper rifle for that. Whoopsie long. Yeah, well, let's just. Uh... Oh, anyway. Yeah, anyway, let's just uh, see if there's anything over here to begin with. Let's see. Yeah, it's about time we started heading back, heading back anyway. I don't, don't think there's really anything else really worth exploring. Oh yeah, that's right, I'll go to the scientist bunker on the way back. Yeah, nothing really spectacular, so... Yeah, let's just get, let's just get over here and have a quick look. Oh, fucking stuttering. Maybe it's stuttering from all the zombies that are being loaded. <laughs> Yeah, let's see, should be able to see them well enough in this light. Hmm. Yeah, not seeing anything. Okay then. Well, we'll walk through Kopachi anyway, since that's directly on the way to the scientist place. We'll just keep the good old Shoddy handy, just in case. Oh, fucking radiation, of course. Actually, that is on the way, isn't it? Yep, very much is. New problemo. Actually, I'll just keep this out, just in case. 
Just keep a pointer down in case I run across some friendly st stalkers who uh, take exception to me brandishing guns at them, despite the fact that this is a hostile zone. Very hostile. Yeah, but I've investigated this place before for stashes, so no need to do that. And apparently no zombies either, from what I can tell. Let's have started though. Of course. Yeah, random debris as well, which keeps... Well, I just keep thinking that debris is actually something useful, but nope. Just getting my hopes up there. Now well. No, I can, and I can actually sell the artifacts straight to the scientists as well. Who to think? Well, don't need that in that case. We'll just get a bit of a light. Yeah, very haunting little place though, that Kopachi. Damn zombies though, why aren't they freaking respawning though? Because I was kind of hoping they would respawn and I would be able to get some decent shotguns or something, even if, even if they're in shitty condition. I mean, I've got repair kits to repair them, be perfect, but nope. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now, yeah, well. Oh, God damn it. Let's walk a bit faster, shall we? And yeah, as, as for actually upgrading weapons and all that, well, I believe Jupiter Plant should have some tools, maybe. Huh, okay. Documents. Oh, that's right. That's actually for the scientists as well. Yeah, there should be some tools there, hopefully. If it's going to be anyway, it's going to be there or the uh, cement plants. And we've already investigated the cement plant and can't remember if I actually found the calibration tools from there or somewhere else actually. I found one set of tools at the very least and that's it actually. Must be a freaking record. Least amount of repair tools found anywhere or upgrade tools, whatever. Well, in any case, we're here. About damn time. Yeah, right, let's see what these old scientists have got to say. Ah, <coughs> подходите. Indeed. Здравствуйте, здравствуйте. Hmm, indeed. Sounds about right. A space bubble. Well, there you go. That's it. Really? Okay. And that is it. Okay. Well, I suppose that was better than nothing. Oh, of course I need to. Oh, actually, no, neither of them... Oh, of course. Yeah, neither of them actually said anything about the uh, module, though, so I suppose neither of them are going to be able to do anything. Yeah, let's see. I suppose they'll buy this from me. Huzzah, huzzah. And apart from that, really, just uh, artifacts to sell. Uh, new problemo. Damn it, stop walking to and from, for God's sake. Okay. Doing a great job looking busy, just walking to and from these uh, tables. Not actually doing anything, mind you, they're just staring. And that guy's just staring at an empty table there, willing something to appear, perhaps. What the hell is that thing? I guess this is the stuff that I salvaged for him. Can't remember what they all are, but anyway, they just. They fucking stop walking, you little shit. Yeah, that's it, just stand right there. God. Alright. Well, actually, it's not too bad. Nice little profit, and where's the final artifact? How can... Oh, there it is. Perfect. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. Now, that's probably the uh, repairman at Yanov can do something with that. Probably after requesting uh, something be done for him, or maybe just asking me to wait. Who knows? Who knows? He's probably going to request something, though. And apart from that, nothing too out of the ordinary here. Okay then. Actually, what the hell is this? Smoked salmon, eh? Very nice, very expensive though. Hmm, apart from that though... Mm, yeah, nah, don't think so. Too bad they don't sell weapons as well, just for the hell of us. <laughs> Pretty funny. Oh, 
Alright, well, that seems to be about it. And just to make sure... Okay, yeah, they do nothing with the uh, UAV, it seems. Despite the fact that they're scientists, you think they would be interested in that? I mean, it's American technology, after all. We all know how great that is. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, let's just continue onwards. And, yep, starting to get... Uh, well, not quite daylight just yet, although it's starting to get a bit lighter out, that's for sure. So yeah, let's just go back to uh, Yalov in that case. And probably should not have sprinted, actually. Oops. Yeah, still carrying a bit much, to say the least. Oh, that's right, we've still got the PDA to give. Well, we might as well just give it to that Freedom guy, screw it. To hell duty. I mean, my relations are bad enough with them. And I'm pretty sure they're pr always going to shoot me on sight, just about, so... Yeah, there's no point really trying to mend that. We'll just give it to a uh, freedom guy. He's probably going to want that. Or maybe not, I don't know. Okay, we'll just wobble a bit there for no particular reason. And slowly but surely make our way to Yanova once again. So, pretty much don't really have to get rid of anything. Just need to get that UAV module investigated. Sounds good to me. Oh, actually, get some stuff repaired too, for that matter. Sounds good to me as well. Actually, I wonder if I've got any repair kits for that. Probably do. God damn it, I just wish I. Well, I'm carrying a crap load of stuff, I suppose. Actually, how much does this weigh? Oh, okay, I thought that was actually going to weigh a bit more, but nope. It's just the remainder of my gear that's weighing me down, and while we hobble away to victory. I'll we'll just check to see if there's anything else I can really stash away. Well, this weighs a bit, I suppose maybe one of those. Apart from that though, uh, everything else, maybe the sleeping bag, but that's kind of a good thing in uh, for emergencies, for having to sleep, I guess. So what the hell, let's just go over to duty, which is this direction. Yep, I believe it is. Yeah, whatever. So what the hell, I might as well get this out of the way before we uh, do some sleep. Do some like sleeping, I should I say. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. <laughs> Indeed. Check it. Round. Okay. Now, oh, there we go. That was somewhat satisfying, I guess. Alright, well, let's see. This medic probably is not the man to talk to about the UAV module. Nope, he is not. Actually, wait a minute. I'll just sell those rounds to him, actually. I don't think I really need any more of those particular types. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, he actually gave me... Oh, okay. He gave me 5.56 rounds, it seems. Okay, well, I'll take that. Uh, and... That yeah, seems to be it. So that and a bunch of money, basically. Job well done. Okay. Plenty of ammunition as well. Okay, sounds good. What's that all? Well, let's just see if Hawaiian has actually got anything oh, to okay. say about the uh, UAV thing. Nope, of course not. Surely it has to be the repairman in that case, whatever his name is. We'll just call him repairman, really. It's easier to remember than Tushkano something or other on Nitro. There we go. Actually, actually, it's not such a bad name to remember. Nitro. Yeah, not too bad. All right. Can you unblock a memory module? Common request. Huh. Okay. Okay then, well, that's pretty convenient. Oh, actually speaking, which one of my repairs? Okay... And fuck it, let's just repair it. There we go. Uh, of course it needs tools or anything else. Okay... Yeah, should be right. And I've already got on to upgrade the uh, sniper rifle slightly as well. Effect Monday. 
still carrying a ton, but oh well. And by the time we sleep and get back up, he will be done. And I have a look at what he has to say. Yeah, fuck 22, definitely time to get some sleep. Probably should save as well, actually. Just in case. There we go. Let's have a look. Oh, fuck it, let's just get some sleep. Okay, bam. Probably gonna get another blowout as well. Or maybe not. Yep, it sure is. Alright, so yeah, so what's A12? I suppose Bloodsucker Gulash sounds pretty good. <coughs> And wash it down with a bit of vodka as well. I know it's meant to be for Cardin, but screw him, we're not going to go to him anyway, so... God, I hope not anyway. Yeah, it's... Yeah, just do that. So, bam! Oh, never mind, it doesn't actually replenish as much as I hope it would. Well, I guess we better have some fat bacon in that case, or something else. Yeah, fuck, we'll just have that. There we go, that should be enough, hopefully. Just gobbling our way to victory. Bit of this. <sighs> what a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, no, really. Yeah, just deposit that as well. I mean, really. Eating irradiated meat, downing it with vodka. Yep, this Major Degnetiev, or Degnetiev, I think I've actually been mispronouncing his name the entire game. Well, the Major anyway, uh, yeah, he's gonna last a long while. <laughs> After this mission, he's probably going to get cancer, most likely. Or cirrhosis of the liver, or something else. Now, well, sucks to be him. I suppose he's gonna have a hell of a time before he does that, and we're going in the wrong direction as well. Whoops, yonk. <laughs> ah, dear mate. Brilliant. Bam, take that. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, really? Radio beacons, eh? Oh, and let me guess, they're all throughout the zone. They'd have to be, wouldn't they? Alright, let's see, where are they? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Three radio beacons. I am not seeing them anywhere. Hmm. I don't think he gave me the uh, thingy either. I think Senka was meant to deliver it, but he's probably dead or something at this point. Damn it, where are the fucking coordinates? Oh, did I miss something there? I'm pretty sure he did say there were like coordinates or something, but. Sing anything. Uh, nothing here either. Oh, okay. Evacuation location. Stash already know about. Huh. The hell? Was that stash there before? Probably not. Oh, wait a minute. Is that what it revealed? Huh. Good question. Let's have a look. Message log. Contain the coordinates of free radio beacons. Oh, okay, here we go. Stash coordinates received. Okay, no problem. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Uh, Alright, so anything here. So there's a stash there which I'm basically never going to find because I looked over there multiple times, couldn't find anything. So no new stashes there, no new stashes here. Hmm. Only seems to be two new stashes, so the third one I've probably already found in that case. And apparently there's actually a stash that I somehow missed at the old quarry. Interesting, as well as a stash at the Jupiter plant. Huh, okay, well it's good to know. The third stash 
apparently has been found already. Isn't that just dandy? Well, interesting little mini quest nonetheless. Maybe the, the stash is actually going to uh, contain more little mini quests or something. <laughs> uh, who knows? Who knows? Of course, the quarry's a little bit out of the way. Yeah, I suppose I could just go there anyway and see what the hell is there. Maybe also, yeah, see if there's anything worth, worth salvaging there. Yeah. That yeah, sounds like a plan. So which way am I supposed to be going anyway? Oh, wait a minute. This way, yep. Perfect, Amanda. <laughs> Probably going to get ambushed by duty squads at some point. Yeah, well, I'll just get their loot as well. Oh, whoops. But before we do that, before we get their loot, let's just head in the right direction for starters. <coughs> yeah, there we go. The adventure continues. With random gunshots. Just got up that. Man, I can't believe I missed out on the stash there. I'm fairly certain I've explored the damn quarry before, but apparently there's more to it than meets the eye. And there's not exactly much to it that meets the eye in the first place, so... <laughs> there you go. What the... Huh. Really? Another one has been placed in the personal box? Okay, well, extra money for me. Sounds good. Yeah, count me in on that. Interesting. I wonder if that's repeating or whether that only happens like one more time or something like that. Uh, who knows? In any case, not getting shot at from here. Usually bandits haul up here, but not from what I can tell this time. Okay, well, let's visit the... Uh... Shit. <laughs> really? Okay, well, let's visit the uh, much-vaunted... Quarry once again. Yeah, definitely shooting at me from somewhere. I think from this direction. I can't even see anything. And down I go. Shit, I think I didn't save any either for that matter. Ah, pitch got muttered in. Should have saved as soon as I left. Oh, well, I think I did save once I reached Yanov, I think. Yeah, I think I did. Just wait for the bloody thing to load. Or freeze. It's all good. Uh, <clears throat> ah, damn it, of course I need to go for that again. Well, okay, okay, could be worse, I guess. And, yeah, well... Take... This out, this out, this out. Got plenty of ammo in either case. Okay, let's try that again. <clears throat> Perfect. <clears throat> Come on, Jesus. Oh, God. I mean, why the hell do they put those sequences in? I mean, really, are they thinking you're going to do this in the midst of combat or something? Oh, anyway. I mean, it, it does make the game quote-unquote more realistic, I guess, but still... Come on, I mean, you should be able to... Okay. You should be able to eat and fucking walk at the same time, at the very least. But oh well, we've done that once again. Nothing really else to be done for the inventory here. Okay, let's just get out of it. Let's go. Maybe save this time as well before we actually... Continue onwards. Oh, okay, yep. Okay, perfect. Yep, Sears. Oh, fuck me, what is the time meant to be? Oh, shit, don't tell me we've got a bloody blowout happening. I'm sure there's meant to be a bit less light than that. It could just be the fact that it's a bit of a clear day, maybe. Actually... Yeah. Might just save in sight, just in case. Okay. Hmm. Well, 
health is going to make it a bit easier to see. In fact, I don't really need that light at all. In fact, we seem to be losing health, so I think we should be able to deal with this amount of radiation. Still something shooting at something by the sounds of it. Now, well, okay, and we'll start heading in this direction. I think this is actually. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's where I had the game repetitively crashing at one point. Thankfully, not anymore. Thanks to one of my own fixes. Now, as to who was shooting me and from where, that's a good question. I wonder if I should have brought the sniper up that actually. Okay, we had that placed in as well. Huh. Questions, questions I need answering. And let's see. I think it came from over here somewhere. Anomalous Grove, maybe? Oh, wait a minute, here we go. And I think these guys must be Judy or something. Ah, oh, damn it, now I kind of wish I did bring out the sniper rifle. That would have been perfect for popping these guys' heads. Oh well. Down you go. Can't believe the explosive didn't hit me, actually. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh, bitch, God, that's it, you know. Wow, that grenade was actually a bit off even. Ah, okay. Not so much for that. Huh. What if I should just t just toss a grenade at him? That probably... Actually, that makes a hell of a lot more sense, actually. Because they're all grouped up like that. So what the hell, let's just do that again. This time we'll just toss a grenade. Won't even bother getting the star profile out. <clears throat> Come on. God's sake. Actually, actually, fuck it. Let's get a sniper rifle out anyway. I think we'll swap that for the, uh, the shoddy, since we've got plenty of ammunition for the other gun. Yep, the other gun should be just fine and dandy. Let's get rid of that. And we'll put this one in. Perfect. Actually, using a sniper rifle. We have plenty of ammo, apparently. Which how much does this weigh? Okay, not too much. Maybe uh, not go overboard though. Yeah, yeah, this thing should be decent. I mean, I've got the tissue piercing uh, ammunition for the bores and all that. Yeah, what the hell should be good to go? And yeah, this, no, not that. This, perfect. Okay, we're good to go. The chances are those duty guys are going to be somewhere completely different due to the fact that the AI resets itself, but uh, oh well, let's give that a shot once again. So, they should be in this direction, actually, just get rid of that. Try to do this in a somewhat sneaky stash, stash <laughs> in a sneaky fashion, rather than stash. Let's see, they're around here before. Yep, gotcha. So they probably would, would be walking in a different direction now, though you never know. Whoa, look at the zoom on that. Thanks to me upgrading it. Just get something with a bit less, uh, less zoom, actually, just so I can have a bit more of an overall view. And, of course, this time around, I can't fucking see them because they're God knows where else. Okay, I think I see a few mutants, though. Maybe they're battling them. Okay. Well, whatever, let's just go in this direction. Wait a minute, what was that? What the... Hmm, okay. Oh, speaking of which... We got some game to hunt as well. If I can actually see it. Damn it, it was there. I'm pretty sure there was like a flesh or something nearby. Yeah, it probably just ran off then. <laughs> Must have been the wind. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. God damn it. Come on. Ah, there it is. There we go. A few bullets, not too shabby. Shoddy shells would have been a bit, a bit more efficient, but that's that well. That's not too bad. Kind of was hoping for a bit of meat, but I suppose I got, uh, yeah, I suppose I got plenty of that. Plenty. And I suppose I'll just keep on going to the 
to the quarry. I was going to call it the crayfish for a second, but uh, no, it's not quite that. Another one of these fleshes, which is galloping, oh, not galloping, uh, trotting off into, into the distance, damn it. Oh, actually, there are a couple of guys there. Are they friendly or not, though? Let's see. God damn it, I can barely see anything at all. I think they are duty, actually. Okay, we'll save it just in case. And away they go. No, no, stand still. Oh, so fucking close, come on. Yes, one down. The fuck? Are they shooting me from all the way over there and they're hitting me? Really? Oh, there, there's the other one. Okay. There's one more left somewhere. We seem to be using, uh, some stealthy weapons of their own, actually. Which can't seem to spot the fucking muzzle flash. Oh, wait a minute, is that it? Ah, here it is, yeah. Um, yes, I think that did the trick. <laughs> this thing isn't too bad after all. Well, let's see, I'm guessing they were duty. At least I'm hoping they were. Otherwise, you do get some pretty nasty consequences for shooting stalkers in general. Like traitors re refusing to uh, speak to you. Great, I just have to hope that I can spot these bodies. Uh, they actually were all along one single horizontal plane, as it were, so let's see. That. Ah. Oh. So I just screwed over myself for freedom. Pitch material. Green fatigues, yeah. Whoops. <sighs> oh well. Yes, proceed. Well, just as well that I saved it in that case. <laughs> oh god. I mean, really, it was. It was pretty hard to tell who the hell they were at all, actually. I just assumed that they were those um, duty guys from before. Ah, oh, god damn it. Kinda wish I could play this in the daytime. Oh well. So these guys are still here. Just just killing off mutants by the looks of things. Actually I could just make my way over there anyway, actually. I should be able to loot the mutants. So what the hell, let's just do that anyway. I mean, these guys are around the quarry anyway, so yeah, sounds good to me. <clears throat> God, it's pretty hard to tell who the hell they were, though. Actually, wait a minute. Did I investigate that before? That little tractor? Probably. Or bulldozer, should I say. Okay. Don't think they're shooting at me. I think they're just shooting at mutants. And... Nope. Nothing there. Of course. Just a ton of radiation. My favourite. Absolutely favourite. Yeah, that's well, what the hell. Let's just chill out with these guys for a bit there and then pick over to the uh, quarry, I suppose. Ah, oh, damn it, they're looting from the mutants, though. No. <laughs> no, don't loot from them. All your mutant parts are belong to me. Like this one here, if I can make it. Yeah, they're still shooting, so they're acting as pretty good bodyguards, I guess. Yeah, that's well, let's just uh, slowly but surely get this one. <laughs> Nothing useful. Alright, so let's get up here then. See if I can see what the hell they're even shooting at. Yeah, they're definitely on high alert. Yeah, keep up the good work, lads. And yep, they're really li Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what do you know? Well, <laughs> not that great, but better than nothing, I guess. Okay, very juicy. And they've looted this one already. No problem, eh? Alright, let's get over to them and see what the hell they're shooting at, actually. Mutants, by the looks of things. Oh my god, the stutter. A stutter, my worst nightmare. 
the stuttering. Don't know why that third guy isn't helping out, but anyway. Yeah, they must be using night vision. Still can't tell what the hell they're really shooting at, though. Is there a bloodsucker down there? I can't quite tell. There's there's something going on down there, but uh, God knows. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, well, there's one thing I was shooting at. I'll take that. I don't need that after all. Oh, fucking nothing useful, really. Yeah, indeed. Oh, I can barely speak to him as well. Semyon Rod, what's your business? Calling ponds near the Jupiter plant. Calling ponds. Well, I kind of want to go there at some point, but don't really want to go there right now, so... Calling ponds, though. Does he mean this thing here, or something else? Not to take any artifacts, of course. <laughs> oh, and they're still shooting at stuff as well, actually. Let's see. Ugh, I'm not going to be able to see anything at all. Uh, actually, how much time do we have? Actually, we should still have plenty. What to investigate then? Oh, that's right, doesn't have any anomalies there. Yeah, I want to gear up a little bit more before I actually head into Jupiter itself. I mean, at the very least, I want to get a better uh, shotgun, to say the least. Uh, checkpoint, I'll need that for that quest. We can get an artifact there. Ventilation complex. Quarry. Eastern tunnel. Eastern tunnel. You know what? Fuck it, let's go there. Actually, can I get these guys to lead me there? Calling pond. Really. And they'll still charge me a fortune anyway. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. And they won't go to the uh, eastern tunnel either. Alright, fuck it. Let's see where exactly they're going to head out, actually. See what they mean by this cooling pond. Maybe that's going to get me closer. Or maybe not. <laughs> nope, I don't think it is. Scanners have detected artifacts. Nothing, apparently. Well, I guess these guys are going to count as bodyguards, I guess. Where the hell are they even going? Actually, which one is the boss, anyway? They all look so bloody similar. Now, here we go. To your business. Okay. Well, it says it's detected artifacts, but it doesn't actually display what the hell they even are, so... Well, I guess since we're here, we might as well have a look to see if... Uh, we can actually find anything. These guys are just going to run around... Like headless chicken, sounds good to me. And once again we found ourselves Ooh, okay. Find ourselves getting attacked. Get this out. Getting attacked by random mutants and once again in the uh arse end of nowhere essentially. Hmm. Okay, well, don't know where the hell that thing went, probably after the uh, freedom then, but well good luck to him. Alright, anything here, in reality? Oh, okay, a few mutants running around there. And... no, oh, damn it, that's not what I meant to do, but in any case there's nothing down here anyway, so... Just get up, try not to run into anything. Okay, can these mutants actually path to me, I wonder? Oh, fuck me, yep, that one can, that's for sure. Okay then, probably, uh, should get out of Oh shit, they can actually get down here. Oh, fuck me. Ah, shit. Is this even worth recovering from? I guess not then. <laughs> okay then. Shit, what did I save actually? I think I saved just when I was about to exit Yanov again. Oh. But I didn't pick up the sniper rifle. Ah, oh, fuck it, I don't think I'll need it anyway. Unless if I meet up with those duty guys again, but that doesn't seem to be too likely. In fact, it seems to be it seems to have been replaced. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, actually, that's right, I saved, before, uh, I saved before I was actually going to engage those guys. So this time we'll just ignore them, actually. No need to go through all that again. And we'll just have a look for this uh, stash. 
which uh, supposedly exists somewhere around here. Hmm. Probably one of these upper levels that's going to be a pain in the ass to access. So I can't use a tree to get up there, it's a little bit too vertical. Huh, oh, that's well, where does it say? So, about. So it could be maybe up there, that's going to be a bit tricky to get to. Or it could be maybe here, I don't know. Shit, if it is up there, how the hell am I even supposed to get to it? Yeah, and of course, because the map is 2D, I've got no idea what height the actual uh, stash is at. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. Probably some trick jumping is going to be involved. Probably shooting at something. No good for them. And I don't think there's any way to really get up there. I don't think this can lead up anywhere either. Oh, fuck me. Try not to run into fucking anomalies. Yeah, I can't get up there. Okay, like that. Could have just took out the detector, but oh well. Could have, but didn't. Did not take out the detector, and I believe I've already searched that. Yep. Since no one else in the game actually searches stashes apart from myself for some reason. Well, I guess it would be kind of ridiculous if the NPCs could do that too. Probably all the stashes will be found shortly after the game started, but anyway. Alright, well, let's uh, try to go up, I guess. Fuck. How am I even supposed to do that? Shit. Well, maybe there's a way by going through the internal structure below. Apart from that, yeah, I mean, I'll oh, wait a minute, unless the stash is... Okay, it's in this direction, so... I don't think it's on the platform that I'm on at the moment, so it's either going to be underneath here, which doesn't seem to be the case. Actually, how's our suit doing? Yeah, doing just fine. Doesn't seem to be there, and... And this walks past it, so it probably is going to be all the way up there somewhere. Question is, how the hell do I even reach that? This is going to be a bit of a uh, head scratch, it seems. And maybe I should take out the detector if I'm going to go near there. <laughs> Actually, I should be able to get up on top of this thing from here anyway. There we go. No oh, damn it. <laughs> really? On there we go. Alright, well, we'll just have to go around and see if I can find some mysterious way up, some trick jumping way to get up, maybe. Maybe it's something obvious that I'm missing. <laughs> Never know. Okay, there's that stash there. Hmm. Really? That, that is solid? This little transparent 2D bit of vegetation is fucking uh, impossible? Oh no, there we go. Perfect, and I fell again. Whoops. Man, I've really made too much of a difference. Oh, man, how the fuck do I get up there? Okay, that's going to get annoying. Hmm. Could just. Well, actually, I'm not even sure what the hell the no clip sheet is. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Is this. Can I get on onto this ledge? I can. I don't believe it. Oh, you. Bitch, fucking, what's it in? Really? Am I supposed to even get onto that ledge, I wonder? I mean, that's the only thing I can really think of. Do we have anything on the opposite side, I wonder? Actually, a suit is still not too bad. Uh, we do have this little pole that I can jump onto. Maybe I can use that to vault over. Oh my god, I can't believe it was that simple. Wow. I must have looked at that god knows how many times and not even realised. Oh, well, there we go. Now we've got a bit of uh, parkour to do, basically, to try to get up. Pretend to be Ezio. Or whatever the current main character of uh, Assassin's Creed is. And let's uh, just see, where the fuck am I supposed to go now, though? Am I supposed to get on top of this thing, or something else? I'm not seeing any stashes around here. Not really seeing anything, really. Okay, and this goes past, so... Yeah, okay, we're going to have to go a little bit higher in that case to get to the stash. Huh. Talk about groovy mysteries. Well, here's another pole that we can probably get on top of. And easy. Okay, I'm assuming that's how you're supposed to be doing it. By standing on these ridiculously thin poles and managing to bounce on them. Quite a feat, actually. 
you think about it. Like trying to get past fucking pipes, it seems to me. Like. Yeah, well, let's see. I suppose in terms of vantage points, this definitely would be great for a sniper, actually. Uh, probably have to get even higher, don't I? Yep, because it's sort of out like that, damn it.